Flag raised. Tapes back, they're off and racing. Over two miles three for the Larksdale Engineering Novices Chase. And they have a gallop of well over three quarters of a mile before they leave the ground on the first of six occasions. The first five fences being omitted because of the low sun and the fact that the fifth fence is a water jump as Blue Fashion cuts out the early running in company with Hollywoodian. They're being tracked a couple of lengths away by Nexius with Pine Creek settled a length further behind in fourth. Midnight Mont is in fifth and Gamble is being restrained in the rear. They're bypassing the third plane fence up the home straight now and Hollywoodian has moved to the front under James Davis heading Blue Fashion. Nexius is third with Pine Creek in fourth, Midnight Monty and Gamble bringing up the rear. So around the last of the four in the home straight they've raced, Hollywoodian is a couple of lengths in front of Blue Fashion, who is being hunted up by Nexius on the inside, Pine Creek a length further back in fourth, and Midnight Monty and Gamble continue to race in the last pair. Five lengths only would cover the field as they swing left-handed away from the glaring sun, they will bypass the water jump and it's Hollywoodian who leads them around it with Blue Fashion and Nexius in second and third, Pine Creek close behind and then Midnight Monty on the inside of Gamble. So they work their way back onto the steeplechase course and approach the first of their jumping tests, would actually be fence number six and it's Hollywoodian who leads them over it. Three clear from Blue Fashion. Nexius over in third. Pine Creek and Midnight Monty fourth and fifth. Gamble at the rear. This is an open ditch. Hollywoodian opening up. Now six lengths clear. Blue Fashion in second. Over in third, Nexius. Pine Creek hit the ditch. Drop back behind Midnight Monty. Gamble continues to bring up the rear as they head on towards the third of their jumping test. It would have been fence number eight. They're still a fair way from it, but Hollywoodian and James Davis are establishing a clear lead. Now into double figures. Blue Fashion and Nexius are second and third as Hollywoodian flies the fence before going over Rose Hill. Blue Fashion, Pine Creek and Nexius are second, third and fourth, and Midnight Monty and Gamble continue to occupy the last two positions. So three more fences to jump around the turn and Hollywoodian has now gone a dozen lengths clear. Nexius on the inside of Blue Fashion disputing second. Pine Creek only a length behind. Both Midnight Monty and Gamble have lost touch with the chasing trio as Hollywoodian heads around towards his fourth jumping test and will take it about eight to ten lengths clear. Over in second is Blue Fashion with... Pine Creek in third, Nexius running fourth, and Gamble and Midnight Monty. They're now approaching the final open ditch, which is their fifth jumping test. The leader got in rather close to it, remains 10 clear. Blue Fashion in second, then follows Pine Creek in third. Nexius running fourth as they approach the last jumping test. Hollywoodian about eight lengths clear. Blue Fashion with a high head carriage giving chase in second. Pine Creek stuttering in third. Nexius has lost a lot of ground back in fourth and both Midnight Monty and Gamble have yet to be involved. A half mile to gallop, no more jumping to be done at the home straight. Hollywood Yam will lead them in from Blue Fashion, Pine Creek. They're clear of Nexius and then a further gap to Midnight Monty and Gamble. They're racing down the home straight. Hollywood Yam still about six clear. Pine Creek has gone a clear second. Nexius is running on again as Blue Fashion fades tamely back into fourth, heading down inside the final three furlongs. And it's Hollywood Yam and James Davis, four lengths clear. Nexius is coming home with a wet sail. He's gone past Pine Creek. Creek. Hollywood Yang comes under pressure with a quarter of a mile to go and Nexius has got to within his girths. Nexius closing in under Nick Schofield and breezes into the lead approaching the final furlong. Nexius goes clear in a few strides. Hollywood Yang has spent force in second. Pine Creek found nothing up the straight in third. Gamble's moved into a remote fourth. Nexius who lost his place at halfway came home strongly in the end under Nick Schofield. Another winner on the card for Paul Nichols. Nexius wins the